Welcome to the Navigating Cancer Together podcast. My name is Talea Dendi. I'm an 11-year cancer thriver, cancer doula, and owner of On the Other Side. I use my experience to help others get on the other side of cancer. Gaps between the guidance, emotional support, and education that are needed and what one receives can be huge. This podcast fills those gaps by sharing stories, resources, and information about all things related to cancer and wellness. I interview guests from all walks of life who are living with cancer, caregivers, and those who are thriving on the other side. Also, I talk with organizations, healthcare professionals, and experts in the health and wellness spaces who offer complimentary and integrative care. Join me. We are in this together. Disclaimer, the purpose of this podcast is to educate and to inform. The podcast is provided on the understanding that it does not constitute medical or other professional advice or services. It is not a substitute for professional care by a doctor or other qualified medical professionals and is not intended for the use in the diagnosis or treatment of individual conditions. Guests who speak in a podcast express their own opinions, experience, and conditions conclusions. Neither Talea Dendi, Navigating Cancer Together, On the Other Side, LLC, nor any of its affiliates endorses, supports, or opposes any treatment option or other matter discussed in a podcast. The mention of any product, service, organization, activity, or therapy on a podcast should not be construed as an endorsement. Hello, everyone. This is Talea Dendi from OnTheOtherSide.life and you're listening to the Navigating Cancer Together podcast, the show that has something for everyone facing cancer. Why? Because everyone is different with different needs, beliefs, and perspectives. Thank you for joining us for this episode. I encourage you to open your minds and your hearts. Today, our very special guest is Debbie Voris. Debbie is a graduate of UCLA. She is an avid runner, skier, and scuba diver. She loves traveling as well. Debbie started her health transformation when she released 70 pounds, and she has kept her weight off for over eight years. She never ran in her life and now has completed six half marathons, and she continually improves her times. Currently, Debbie helps revitalize people's health. She is a certified holistic health coach, and she is passionate about a whole body mind approach to health and wellness. Debbie lives the Keto 90 lifestyle and augments her diet with micronutrients, herbals, and essential oils. She is passionate about helping other women who have lost themselves in weight, who are stressed, have hormonal issues, and could benefit from mindset coaching. Debbie helps people identify the root cause of their health problems and then creates a custom natural holistic strategy to resolve them. She guides them with a strategy that can include a clean diet, custom meal plans, holistic, natural, nutritional products, and coaching for mind, set, and emotion. She has inspired many to become healthier. She can help you revitalize your health too with her coaching services from Debbie Changes Lives. Debbie, thank you so much for joining us today and welcome. Thank you for inviting me. I really appreciate being on your podcast. It's such a pleasure to have you, Debbie. I would like to say something right now as a disclaimer, which I have to do with every podcast I do. So as a certified holistic health coach, I'm not allowed to say I treat, heal, cure, prevent, or diagnose any diseases. The information presented in this podcast is meant to uh, present nutritional information only, and there's no way to meant to replace your advice of your medical doctor. What I do is support the body to do its best job during times of serious illness and health, with good nutrition to consult your doctor regarding your treatment. Thank you so much for sharing that, Debbie. That is a very important disclaimer. And we just want to make sure that people are aware of the different things that Debbie does and does not do as a holistic health coach. When I shared your bio, Debbie, I touched a little bit on your story. But can you please go into more detail about your story and why you became a holistic health coach? Sure. I had no idea I was going to go down this health journey. But one Christmas, we made Christmas cards, and I saw this photo, and it made me cry. 
because I realized I was overweight. My husband saw my tears and bought me a weight loss program, a keto program for Christmas. <laughs> and I committed to doing it. I actually lost or released a total of 70 pounds and I kept it off for more than eight years. This November is my ninth anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. During that process, a lot of things happened. Mostly, I was darn tired. I would go to bed at 8.30 at night from the majority of that weight loss journey. And it changed when I changed my supplement plan. That's when I started feeling better and I was able to stay up to 10 o'clock at night. It's interesting how my life changed. I became a half marathon runner. I did my first half marathon at the age of 51. I've done six so far, each one improving upon the last. The most dramatic one was my second one where I cut off 25 minutes from my first half marathon. That's good. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. And that is also because of the new supplementation plan I was taking and help my foot to feel better because it used to be really uncomfortable and painful to walk on a treadmill. And I switched it up with running when I started feeling better. And then friends asked me to go running with them. And that's how I became a half marathon runner. That's great. And the last segment that really solidified everything and brought me to becoming a certified holistic health coach was when I was at the weight loss clinic, I always had blood tests taken. And this year, the nurse came up to me and said, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> it shocked me. So I said, I just changed my supplementation plan. And she says, well, whatever you're doing, continue doing it because your blood sugar levels and your cholesterol levels were in normal range, but they dropped dramatically. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So I knew I needed to share my story and I wanted to help others revitalize their health as well. And that's why I became a certified holistic health coach. What I do is I educate people on good nutrition, good supplementation, and other alternatives. And it's a lot of education that goes behind that as well. Thank you so much, Debbie, for sharing your story. You are a testament that once we decide to take control of our health, there are so many amazing things that we can reverse just by changing the way that we eat, exercising more, or finding things that we enjoy doing and mm -hmm. incorporating that into our daily lives. So congratulations to you for making that step. And you didn't make any excuses. You saw your photo. You said, hey, I don't like the way I look. And you made the personal decision to take action. Now you're helping other people do that. And I think that's wonderful. So thank you for everything that you do. You too. <laughs> Debbie, please tell us, what is 90 essential nutrients important for? When I started my journey, I had no idea why 90 essential nutrients are really important. And I've learned over time, and I educate people on that. People don't realize our soils are depleted of nutrients, especially minerals. We overfarm our lands, farmlands, and we dam our waters so waters don't get into the farmlands. And that's how minerals got into the farmlands in the first place. When produce is grown, it absorbs the minerals from the ground. And if there's no minerals, our foods are de deficient. Even the grass that the cows eat is deficient, okay? Or any feed that you give the cows are deficient. So our proteins and our produce are about 70% to 80% deficient, especially over the last 40 years. And there is a gap there. And when I started taking this new supplementation program, which is basically where plant-derived minerals, I learned a lot about that. What it is, the 90 essential nutrients includes the plant-derived minerals that are actually mined and purified and put into the products. It comes from a plant source that fed the dinosaurs. So obviously it's GMO-free, organic. <laughs> and it's also colloidal because it comes from a prehistoric source. So they're going to be absorbable better. And what the 90 essential nutrients are, are your 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids. You have three essential fatty acids and they all work as cofactors for a good nutritional base and make your body be healthier and brings your body to the right alkalinity, which helps a lot of people feel better and give them energy. I forgot about the uh, minerals or 60 of them. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Thanks for adding that in. We hear so much, Debbie, about supplements and minerals and vitamins. Please share with the audience what they should look for in quality supplements, vitamins, and things like that? A lot of stuff that's on the market today have fillers in them, and people are just not aware of that. And if people say, oh, I'm taking vitamins and I'm not doing anything for you, 
or minerals or any type of supplements, then you need to switch out. Because when you have a high quality product that's colloidal, which means it's organic and it's also going to be more absorbable, a high quality product, you're going to notice a big difference. I was taking store-bought vitamins at the beginning of my weight loss journey. And it just wasn't doing me any good. And so I'm like everybody else. It's like skeptical and things like that. And when mm -hmm. I started taking this product, I'm like, I noticed it within four days. Now my health wasn't good. My health, I dropped 50 pounds when I noticed it. And I removed a lot of toxins from my system. So that helped me. But everybody's going to notice it differently. And the one thing I suggest, like with, especially with the products I offer to my clients, is give it 90 days because Everybody is in a different health state. Your body's like an onion and some people have deeper levels of different health concerns. And it just takes a while for those layers to peel off, so to speak, and feel better. Supplementation is not supposed to happen overnight, but for me, probably because the journey I was on, I just felt it. I felt it right away. And plus, had a, my body was desiring to feel better and be energetic again. That's probably what happened with me. Thank you for sharing that, Debbie. I really love the analogy about peeling back the onion because health and healing, it really is a process. You have to figure out what works best for you, figure out what your body needs. And as you mentioned earlier, get to the root cause of what's really going on. And I think that's a great analogy, which requires patience also and dedication. You have to stick with it. Exactly. Debbie, there is a lot of stress in the world. When people get a cancer diagnosis, they're very stressed out. Day-to-day -day life is stressful for everyone. What do you recommend for people under a lot of stress? The first thing I do is I look at a person's diet, especially when they have a serious illness. They have to have a clean diet that's toxic-free. And then I have them do a health evaluation to see what else is going on? Because that will give you different symptoms. So it's important to understand what's going on. I do educate them, just like I educated you on the importance of the 90 for life, 90 essential nutrients, mm -hmm. because they will help the body be a good base, a foundation for supplementation, because our body bodies are like Swiss cheese, and those nutrients will fill the holes the body needs. When someone has a really serious illness, they may need more in order to get them going. But again, it depends on their tolerances of how they can handle the products. Because everybody in different stages of illnesses will have some intolerances to certain things, and you have to ease into it. You can't just jump into it, like dive in the deep end of the pool. So that's the nutritional area because I want to make sure that their body has the right alkalinity. That's really important. But there's other things you can do as well. And when you're on long periods of stress, which I think a lot of people have been in the last few years. <laughs> Tell me about it. Your adrenals get taxed and you may not be sleeping and you lack energy and things like that because what stress does, it burns through your reserves and the foods that you eat. And when a body has illnesses, it's even more of a pull of energy for them, tank of energy, it tanks them. So it's important to try to help those adrenal glands as well, not only with the good nutritional supplements, but also with products that support the adrenal glands, which are herbals or nutritional products that I can give them. And then they will find out that they will start sleeping again. And there are some other products that are natural sleep products that I can also recommend. All this is up to them what they want to do. It's just I educate them. Here's this, here's that, there's that. This is what that these can do. You decide what you want to do. But other things I offer are things that kind of ease anxiety because anxiety increases stress. And there's a couple of things I offer. There's, there's something called binaural audios that you can listen to, and they will help you relax, release that anxiety, and be able to, some people can sleep just with the binaurals, just releasing that anxiety and stress for that period of time. Another thing they can do is deep diaphragmic breathing like yoga because it circulates your blood and also helps you relax. And also if your clientele has the energy to, to walk or do any type of things, keeping the body moving in some way is really important. They may enjoy Zuba, but if they don't have the energy to do that, they gotta do what works for them. I totally agree. You just mentioned movement. Actually, you know, when I'll just use myself as an example. There were times, Debbie, when I was so tired, I didn't want to do anything. But when I force myself in a way to just go for a walk, that actually re-energized me and gave me some energy. So it's tough to get started, but once you do, you, you do get benefit from it. I want to thank you for bringing up that piece as well, because it's very important. 
Yes, and actually walking outside is probably ideal because you're outside in the environment, you're seeing animals, you're enjoying yourself, makes you smile, and fresh air. And plus, yeah. you get a little vitamin D at the same time. It depends on the time of year and where you live, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge factor. <laughs> Yes. Debbie, what do you recommend for the audience, anyone who is going through uncontrolled cell division? What do you recommend for them? Okay, I've already talked about the first thing, which was the 90 for life or the plant drive minerals, whatever they can tolerate, only because it does bring your body into alkalinity mm-hmm. and, and helps your body during this process. Dr. Lewis Pauling, who won a Nobel Prize twice, actually said, and this is his quote, not mine, Cancer (laughs) cannot survive in an alkaline environment. Yes. And so that's something to think about, okay? And these products I just mentioned will help with that. The other products are things that will support your immunity. And the first one is probably one of the best ones. It's called beta-glucan. And it was developed by an immunologist in our company. It's highly researched on PubMed.gov. A patient and doctor can check out more information on beta V-I-T-A with immunity.com. And what it does is it helps support your immunity alongside with your treatment to help with their battle of their illness. And people have been successful with. I can connect the caregivers or your clients to the immunologist directly so they can ask more questions. Plus this product has been approved by the FDA. Thank you, Debbie, for Uh, sharing those resources. Yeah, I have four more. Hope is an herbal product that is a great blood purifier that cleans out the trash like dead cells and also toxins from your blood and helps the blood flow better. And it's an upgraded formula to a nurse that created something called SEX. Her name is Renee Cassie. And people can look up information on that as well by Googling her. And then Oxybody has also helped people as well. Some people that are on this type of journey will seek get oxygen treatments like hyperbolic chambers. And what that will do, it will help kill the overactive cells with the oxygen treatments and activate the healing process. Mm. Oxybody has vitamins, minerals, and botanicals. And it's in the base of pure saturated oxygen, saturated aloe vera, pure oxygen saturation aloe vera juice that's formulated for ideal health and Mm. good health. And then Z radical has helped people as well. It is in the core of fucoitin, which is an extract of three different brown seaweeds from pristine oceans. It's combined with turmeric and other nutrients that help people on this journey. And what patients should do and their doctor should do is look up for coitin on pubmed.gov and in relation to their health condition. And they'll find a whole bunch of studies on that as well. The final product that is something to consider is selenium. It's a high-powered antioxidant that helps fight free radicals. It functions as a redox gatekeeper, and it creates rapid regulation of proteins involved in H2O2-related reduction and oxidation, known as redox reactions. It also creates homeostasis for normal and overactive cells. Thank you. That is a wealth of information. And as Debbie said, you can look up those products on pubmed.gov. Make sure you do your research. Do your research. And you can also contact me and I'll give you more resources as well. Absolutely. And as Debbie said, she knows her stuff. So if you do have any questions, make sure you follow up with Debbie. She will share her website and everything before we end here. And then also you'll find Debbie's information in the lesson notes as well. Debbie, why is mindset important during these times and especially when someone has been diagnosed with cancer? Mindset for anyone is really important and it's also different. And I already mentioned the binaurals are great because they help release emotions, but people are tied up during the times, both the caregiver and the actual person going through the journey. Mm -hmm. But most importantly during this journey is the person that has the serious illness needs to keep their mind into positive thinking. And I help them by talking it out with them so they can see a different perspective and help them remember the little wins because when they up like the sands in the hourglass and those wins, when you view them, will make them stronger and they'll feel that I got this. Another thing that is great to do is visualize the battle happening. Visualize the healthy cells are winning 
and the other cells are retreating. There's a great animation on Vita with immunity.com that kind of gives you an idea and it will feed your mind. Your mind is really a powerful tool. And when you're with your thoughts and visualizations, they become intentions that help your mind and your soul through your journey. Debbie, thank you so much for sharing that information. And of course, you have helped a lot of people on their health and healing journey. Please share one of your favorite stories of a client who has had great success in working with you. I have had a weight loss team that actually won quite a bit of weight and they made semifinalists. And during that time, I did the mindset training and guiding them through that journey. I've had people contacting me about mindset coaching where they you know, were stuck on something and I helped them give them a little metaphor and made them laugh. <laughs> so everyone is different. And with anyone with a serious illness, sometimes just talking to somebody and about what they're going through is very beneficial, whoever they choose that to be. And like I said, the products I offer and the services I offer, and it's really up to that individual. Everything I said in this podcast will help the caregiver as well as the person that's on the journey so important because we often forget about the caregiver and they're under a lot of stress as well. They've taken on this additional responsibility, typically in addition to working, still working, taking care of the home, and they need to make sure they are cared for so they can stay in the best health as well. Exactly. They got to pay attention to if they're not sleeping throughout the night. <laughs> That's really oh, important. So important. Yeah. And do all those things to release the stress that I've mentioned before. Debbie, you shared with me earlier that you are offering the audience a giveaway. It includes a health evaluation and review and some other amazing things. Please tell us more about it and how can it empower their health. What is really great about this offer is that I created a, a daily action journal and it's based on health and mindset where people are going to track their mindset and they're going to track what foods they eat. People on this journey pretty much they're looking at foods that they have intolerances for because when you're on a serious health journey, things that you used to eat may not be something you can eat at this moment. That's true. So you want to figure out what foods are not working for you. What's great about the mindset part of it is that there's like five lines to write some gratitude points for that day. These little wins that you have that you're grateful for will fill out that little stand in the hourglass, like I told you earlier, and they can review that over and over again to feed their minds. So for this audience and also for the caregivers, it'll help them with their diet and mindset. You've already mentioned the health evaluation and review, and it's also a 15 minute free consultation to get to know me better. That's important. You got to know who I That's am right. and I need to know what you need. And the final part of it is a 30 minute coaching session. They can find this offer at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash Debbie, spelled D-E-B-I hyphen offer. I will include that information in the list and notes as well. Okay, great. Debbie, before we end, I like to ask my guests two questions. The first one is, what do people often misunderstand about you? I am giving them information and I'm okay if they decide not to do it. Everybody should have options of what they want to do, especially when they're on this journey of what they're going through. They have choices and, and they're going through a journey where there's a lot of changes and it's hard to decide what to do. I'm very understanding what they're going through and it's hard to make a choice. All I am doing is giving them nutritional information and they can decide what they want to do. Some people will take baby steps, others will jump right into it. And some people will take a break. It's really important to know that I don't judge people mm -hmm. on, what, on what their actions are because there's always a reason behind it. Clarification is really great. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but you know what? It's, it's an emotional journey. And sometimes you just need to step back and take a break. I'm here to support whoever needs help with any type of health condition. I also need feedback. It's okay to say, this is not working, or I can't tolerate this because we can cut back dosages to make it easier on them. And then, and, or we can eliminate things and change things out. So communication is the big thing with me. I'm really easy to talk to. I'm here to support others. 
I just want to follow up with what Debbie has just said. She is very easy to talk to and the healthy valuation and review is very helpful. Like Debbie said, even if you don't take action, at least you have the information and it's always there. You can refer to it later. You can take action later, but at least you know where you stand. And Debbie is very supportive. And some people take action anyways and do something else. But you know what? I educated that person. They're aware of what they need to do and they do it. And that makes me feel good too. Yeah. Great. Debbie, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I would say Australia was one of my favorite places. Mm -hmm. I I visited it six times. (laughs) Oh, wow. Okay. (laughs) Everything changed. What's great is I can work wherever I am Mm -hmm. remotely because I, I am available on Zoom. So it really doesn't matter where I live. But I do love living by the beach. I do love scuba diving. I do love <laughs> running. So it would have to be some place where I can do those type of things. I'm also a skier. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So I, didn't know I do that. like snow too. <laughs> <laughs> I just like traveling. And Australia is still one of my favorites only because I've been there so many times. Mm-hmm. And, I, and the scuba diving is like fantastic. But they've oh. had some really rough times. We'll see yeah. a few years. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I've heard. Yes. Well, hopefully things are settling down. Things are opening up. So just like with us. Yeah. We're yeah. getting back to a normal. It's been interesting. Yes. Debbie, I want to thank you so much for all the information that you've shared with the audience. Before we leave, Debbie, is there anything else that you would like to share? It took a picture of me being overweight and not being aware that I was gaining weight. A rareness is the key, not only for you physically, but also for you mentally. A serious health conditions, people get overwhelmed mentally, physically, it's the whole ball of wax. You gotta share that with somebody and seek help and what you wanna do and not want to do, or even ask somebody, hey, I want to maybe go away this weekend. Would you go away with me? Just release some of that angst and do something good for yourself, whether it's health, having fun or mindset. You know, you only live once. Great advice, Debbie. Great advice. If people want to get in touch with you or if they just want to follow you on social media, where can they find you? I have a website called DebbieChangesLives.com. I have on Facebook, I have Debbie, I spell Debbie, D-E-B-I, by the way. Remember that. Apostrophe S Treasures. On Instagram, I am Debbie Changes Lives, which makes that easy. And I'm a certified holistic health coach on LinkedIn. That's where they can find me. And they're welcome to contact me or make an appointment for that free consultation at any time. And I do have a calendar. I guess I need to share that with you. I haven't done that. Please do. And that's about it. It could be just questions about what we talked about today or questions about other things. They'll find a lot of my posts are kind of make people aware of things. I also try to educate people as well. I try to have some fun in it. It's important. <laughs> and I, I also... But I have different type of posts on certain days. Yeah, just check it out and follow me. Follow Debbie. Debbie is a wealth of information. She has shared a lot of great information with me that has helped my clients as well. So even if you're not sure, just follow Debbie, reach out to her. She's a very Mm -hmm. open and caring person. You'll leave with some information that can help you. I can guarantee that. (laughs) I always give information out. That's free. And it's up to them what they want to do, really. So true. Debbie, I want to thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your story and being vulnerable. I know that for women especially, it's hard to share those things, especially photos of us maybe not in our most flattering light, in our own opinion anyway. And just for sharing that and just to help make people aware and to say, hey, it's okay. That's the size I used to be, but here's the work I've done to get to where I'm at today. And I think that is the real message. And being able to maintain it. Mm, Yes, that's Um, true. I'm considered part of the 5% club. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Only 5%? Yeah, 5% of people can do that. But it's all how you commit to what you want to do for your health, whatever health you have. I have to give you another round of applause. I have something called Happy Runner Chats on YouTube, but pretty much I kept on running no matter what. Good for you. So it's important. um, Whatever is happening around you, it's happening around you. You got to be aware of what's happening for you inside of you and take care of yourself first. Just like being on an airplane, you put on your oxygen mask first Mm -hmm. before you 
you put it on somebody else. So take care of yourself, whatever health condition you have. Wise words, Debbie. And we will end on that note, Debbie. Again, thank you so much for talking with me today and sharing so much wisdom with the audience. Oh, you're welcome. I enjoyed it. Before we end today, I'd like to give a shout out to the listeners. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have enjoyed this episode, please share, follow, or subscribe so that you can easily find my podcast and listen again. Also, it helps others find the podcast as well. That is it for this Wednesday. And until next time, let's keep navigating cancer together. Take care. Thanks for listening to this episode of Navigating Cancer Together. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed the show, please share or tell your friends and family about it. For notes from the show and previous episodes, visit ontheotherside.life and check out the podcast section. I would love it if you joined us for the next episode. Talk to you soon. Thank you.